Hey everybody. On this episode of Mr. Fix, we're gonna look at changing the burners on one of these Napoleon barbecues. Now, if you zoom on in, what'll happen is some of these burners, once they reach a certain time, and you'll notice I even changed the grill on these guys to stainless steel, but that's on a different one. I even modified these guys from another one because mine were consumed. Now, if you look real good here, uh, if I have a flat screwdriver, or probably not on this cheap set, but you can tell right here, you see how it's all cracked there? This is all junk right here. So all this is, you see that? It's all coming out. All right, so what we did was I ordered it through Amazon. It came from this grill part zone. Uh, before I used to buy them for $20. Before I used to get them for about 20 bucks, but it just so happened that I couldn't even find it, so I bought a pack of four because more than likely I'm gonna use it. These things, you just gotta make sure that you have the right size. And I'm gonna tell you a little trick here that you have. So, this I know it's the right size. Measure it, make sure they go into this burner right over there. So, I'm gonna take this current one out. And a problem that you face is that these screws Sometimes this is all rusted and it comes off and it just, it's a real mess, right? But just be careful with it and it should come. But, and I'm gonna show you as soon as I get it off what another problem that we have here. came off this will slide right out just like that okay you just have to make sure that when you slide the new one in that it goes in there's a little chute um, on the inside I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it see here see the little nozzle that's what you're gonna stick this just make sure the nozzle goes in there so that's the only thing that comes into now, if you can film it through there, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get it in there. Just like that, and just like this, okay? Perfect. So, here, it's just like that one screw. Now, a problem that we face that I had in the other, in one of the other ones, is that it strips so bad that what I did was, The previous one was so bad that I couldn't get it back in. And you just want to keep it in place. If it was so bad that I couldn't get it back in, what I would do is go get a bigger one. And all you got to make sure is if this hole isn't big enough, then drill this out a little bit and make sure you're back it and then just kind of go in. But I think I could get lucky with this current one here. Same one, top, top screw, and just make sure that it's all good. Do not over tighten it because, you know, these things, uh, they rust pretty bad. So you just want to make sure it just holds it in place. That's all it is. Straight. Okay. So just double check. That's there. I'm going to turn the gas on. And there you go. Shut it off. I'm going to put Start back on, right there. Put the grill back exactly where it is. And it's all set for barbecue. So there you have it. Quick fix, don't get nervous. If you see your barbecue flaming up, you get that bad crack. Really easy, buy a whole pack, because you're gonna go through them. You spend a thousand dollars or 1500 bucks for a barbecue, you're better off, buy more, because you'll go through them. This is actually the third one that I've changed on this, and now I just bought a pack of four. 
So good luck to you in changing your, bro uh, your burger on your Napoleon barbecue. And thanks for watching, Mr. Fix.